Did your family say no? Did your friends want to see how you got on with it? And what about the people at work? Have they promised to get back to you sometime? In other words, is your network marketing business not going as fast as it should be? Well, that's what happened to me. I'm John Passmore and I started my network marketing business in 2005. Go and talk to your family and friends, they said, and I did. And my family and friends all said the same thing. They said, it looks really interesting. We'll see how you get on with it. Which is a very polite way of saying no. Now, at this point, I could have given up. But I couldn't afford to. This had to work. And so I started talking to people I didn't know. The cold market. And the great thing about the cold market is that these people have no idea that you've just started. And so they will take it at face value. If there's something in it for them, they will say yes. And even if they say no, you won't be mortally offended because you don't know them. I built the bulk of my business in the cold market, and I am now in the top 0.5% of my company. Very soon the rest of my team wanted to know how to do this, and I showed them. And then word spread, and before I knew where I was, I was putting on seminars around the country. We called it the Cold Market Academy. I wrote about it on the blog. I was contacted by other companies. Network marketers from all over the world were in touch. I wrote an e-book, and there was an interminable webinar to go with it. And none of this was revolutionary stuff. The idea of talking to people you don't know is as old as the hills, and there are lots of books and CDs and seminars about how to do it. But here's the difference. They all concentrate on the idea of meeting somebody you don't know, getting to know them, making friends, working out what it is that they really want, and then offering your business as a solution. And how cynical is that? Do you not think that these people will realize that the only reason you started making friends with them was in order to sell them something? And anyway, how long does it take to make friends with somebody? And there's another thing. It's easy to make friends if you're an attractive person with a sparkling personality. But what if you're a boring old git and you look like me? You can spend ten minutes, half an hour, half a day trying to make friends with somebody. And even if you succeed, you have no idea whether they're going to want what you've got. So instead of spending your half an hour talking to one person who may not want what you've got, how about spending it talking to 50 people and then simply sorting out the ones who do? I'll talk, teach you to talk to 50 people in half an hour. I'll teach you to talk to 100 people in half an hour. Now, this stuff works. Look at the testimonials. People have already been doing this. And the best news is I have now rewritten the book with two entirely new sections. One about handling excuses and the other about gathering referrals. In other words, working in the warm market, but uh, somebody else's warm market. Also, those interminable webinars have become a snappy 45-minute video suite. Yes, you can see me talking to people I don't know, gathering referrals, making phone calls to total strangers and getting appointments, all in real time. And you have a guarantee. If you put this into practice and you find it doesn't give you what you want, you can have all your money back. So where could you be in a year's time or two years or five years if your business took off like a rocket right now? Because that's what it will do. Hit that button now, and let's get started.